so there are some special functions in deliveries okay so this is the one I was basically talking about before that um, we have some very advanced functionality in the system as well okay and they are basically a part of SAP logistic so here I will be giving you some overview of those processes only okay so so we have a thing called um, dash split okay so like in some companies especially if you think of like pharmaceutical companies where they're making medicine or something and they're making them in the batches okay so for example in this batch the product is same but again in this batch they have created they have uh, uh, manufactured this many medicine 1000 of them and on this date and like that okay so batch split so they have for one batch they have like information regarding everything what were the contents how they created what was the bill of material and all that okay so that those batch you can create a delivery as per the batches as well okay so, so you can even you have the option to use uh, the, uh, the 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 items in outbound delivery in the form of batches okay for example if you're delivering 100 pieces of a material you can you can set up so that the first 20 were created in a different batch batch number this and the second the second part 80 of them were created in the in the next batch in the batch number this okay so you, this is called batch split okay so you can use this functionality we also have a functionality called serial number for any reason any company wants to track each and every material going out of their company they can use the serial number functionality so what this one is for example, I'm creating here. I was creating uh, for this delivery. For this product, I have created so many orders, so many deliveries, so many billing documents, and all that. Okay, but if you want, you can system can generate one number each for each item. Okay, so for every time you will create a new um, <clears throat> a new item. Okay, in the outbound delivery, system will generate a number for it. Okay, so for example, if you're sending this product, five quantity of this product, system will generate five numbers, 401, 402, 403, 405, 406, whatever. Okay, and tomorrow you can track, for example, you want to see, okay, 404, customer will complain that, okay, there's a problem with product number 404, for example, you can track it. Okay, or could be used for other, other scenario as well, in different business processes. Okay, but there's a functionality called serial numbers that you can use, and system will generate serial number for every item each and every item pricing in outbound delivery <clears throat> so what happens is again this this I mentioned before as well like for example you could have a shipping cost or posted for cost anything so what happens is in the billing document or like a say for example pallet cost okay so you want to send the cost for the pallet as well so <clears throat> first the when you're doing the billing so the system will copy the prices from the sales order then you can add some extra prices, for example, pallet cost, postage cost, anything, shipping cost, to that billing as well. So, so billing document will be showing first the, the actual product cost plus the shipping cost as well. Okay, in the billing. <clears throat> split, you can, if you want, you can split the outbound delivery. For example, you got an outbound delivery here and uh, you can say outbound delivery number 1201 and uh, material A you sending 50 pieces, material B you sending 150 pieces. So you can split it. Okay, for example, the first will be uh, material A will be going 30 pieces, material B will be going 120. And there you can split it and system will generate the next numbers for delivery. For one delivery, you're creating more than one delivery. Okay, you will do this in the case of, for example, you, you want to send these goods from this delivery to a truck and there's not enough room in the truck. Okay, then you can say, okay, in truck number one, I can I will send I will send only 30 pieces and 120 pieces. Okay, delivery number this. And the second truck which has some space, I will be sending 20 pieces of material A. And this third truck here, they've got some space as well, and I will be sending 30 pieces of the second material. Okay, so you can and you can generate different system will generate different delivery number, and you can print out them and send it to different trucks with those goods. Okay, this is called split splitting of odd one delivery, and you can split it as per um your say loads on a truck or anything okay um let me take a question from manish um sale numbers are generated during gr and pp order uh goods receiving for gr means good receive manish i think so sale numbers are generated for goods receive 